This stunning brand new Valhalla 55 is sitting high atop her hurricane boat lift in Stewart, Florida. She's currently running her air conditioners to keep her cabin and helm healthy and cool. She's making ice for the next day's fishing and keeping her chiller plates cold for beverages and frozen bait. So another benefit we've, we've really found from the AC lift is we're in South Florida, it's hot. This boat is up on a lift. We're on a wide river here, which is not a slow speed zone. So we do get a lot of waves and boat traffic. So I'm basically at a point where either I'm on the lift or I'm off the lift. So when you're on the lift and you're getting ready, figuring out where you're gonna go, firing up all your electronics, I still have the advantage of using like the Helm AC because I, I have water supplied so I can use the AC. If we're bringing out the women with us, um, we can get them settled on, because the second row also has AC. They can sit down and get comfortable. They're not sweating until we're ready to go. Then I say like have that maybe a couple minute delay and I've got everyone AC again. So the nice part is the preparation for your trip. You get to use all the advantages of having seawater in your boat where I don't have the ability to go down into the water because of weight damage possible. The owner of this absolutely stunning brand new Valhalla 55 is protecting his vessel while up on the lift with the assistance of AC lifted, allowing his air conditioners to run just as if he were in the water, along with making ice and running his chiller plates all while up on the lift, only with AC lifted. This will be my procedure. Right now the boat is fully functional with the AC lift. I've got ice machines on, I've got fish boxes cold. I got my mezzanine drink boxes going, the AC is on in the cabin, my helm AC, second row, everything is powered up. Everything's running off 110. We're gonna get ready to go out. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump on the boat. I'm gonna turn my AC 50 amp power off. I'll come over here and turn off the AC lifted pump. I'll disconnect the fittings. At that point, I drop the boat in the water. Once the boat's in the water, kind of close to floating, then I can go in. I'll turn on my generator, I'll get powered up, I'll kick my AC pump back on. At this time, my sea chest is underwater and I'm fully functional. I've already got ice in the box, everything's cold. So it's kind of just, a, I basically have a, maybe a two minute gap from fully powered to fully powered. So we're backing at the dock. I've turned my power off on the boat, I'm back on shore power. Now I'm gonna reconnect the AC lift to my boat. So I've got two ports down here. Plug back in. Now I'll go down below. I'll turn on my AC pump. And simultaneously, you'll hear the AC lift. It will turn itself on and revive me power. And where's the discharge? Right, so here's our AC lifted. This is our pump, it gives us all the water our control box. What I want to do is I want to take a look at the intake and just check it weekly because there is a strain basket on there. So I'm just going to come in, I'm going to turn the switch off. So I know this pump's not going to kick on. I go to the back side, pull a couple pins. There's my strainer basket. A one-way valve. You can see we get a little growth on it, but that's why we have the ability to take it out of the water so we can check it and keep it nice and clean. Once you know it's clean, simple as dropping it back in. Reconnect. Safety pins in. And then we, our system is back on.
game changer for us because uh, this boat has so many options on it that require water, chiller boxes, ice makers, cabin AC, uh, mezzanine drink boxes that we just weren't able to take full advantage of. Uh, you know, it's, it's South Florida, it's super hot. You go down below, it's 90 degrees. Um, you know, we're on a lift, we're on the wide water, we have to worry about yacht wakes. So, you know, if you want to cool it down, you have to drop the boat in the water and, you know, not let it float off. So, it's a giant hassle. Now, the cabin's cold, the chillers are all working, we're pumping out ice. So, now our boat's ready to go. Just all we have to do is drop it down and we're off we go. It's a game changer for us.